Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate an if true function and an update record function in NORT52. An if true function takes two parameters, something to test and what to do if the test is passed. An update record function takes a minimum of three parameters. The entity logical name of the record to be updated, the GUID of the record to be updated, and at least one change you want to make to the record. You can use set attribute functions to update as many fields on the record as you want. There are a variety of different types of set attribute functions depending on if you are setting a simple text field, a lookup, a party list, or changing the status of a record. To demonstrate this, I'm going to create a formula that will set the description field of a case to be the contents of an email but this will only happen when that email's regarding field has been set to a case and the case's description field is empty. So we start by creating a new formula. We navigate to settings, N52 formulas, and then click on the new button. This formula will be of type save perform action and it will run on the email entity. We leave the event at create and update and set the source property to be the regarding field. This means that the formula won't trigger unless the regarding field was set when the email was created or if it was updated afterwards. The first step in the formula will be to check if the regarding field contains data. So we start with an if true statement. We then use the contains data function. Holding down the shift key when we click on the name will bring up the wizard. We select the regarding field from the source tab and then click generate. Emails can be connected to various entities in Dynamics 365 and we only want to trigger this logic if the email is connected to a case. So we click on the regarding field again and then add type to it. This gives us access to the type of entity currently in that lookup field and we can then check if this is a case. The entity logical name in Dynamics 365 for a case is incident, which is why I am checking if the type is incident. We are now checking if the email's regarding field contains data and that is connected to a case. However, we also need to make sure that the description field of the case is also empty before we can continue. So we add it in another and and then we go back to our functions. We will now use the does not contain data function. Again, we will hold down the shift key and click on the function to bring up the wizard. On the source tab, we open up related n to one, scroll down and expand incident. Then we expand attributes. We select the description field from this list and this will now give us access to the description field on the connected case. This if true statement will now check three conditions before it executes any of our instructions. One, the regarding field has to contain data. Two, the regarding entity has to be of type incident, aka case. And three, that case's description field has to be empty. It is worth mentioning here that NORT52 if and if true statements execute their conditions left to right and stop on the first fail. So if the regarding field is not set, then NORT52 won't worry about checking the regarding object type or the case's description, etc. Now that we have all our checks set up, we need to actually update the case with the contents of the email. We will use an update record function for this. I can manually create an update record function and fill in all the details myself, or I can navigate to the explore tab, search for case, expand the list of attributes, and then tick the box for description. Next, I use the update record builder. As you can see, the framework for the update record function has been added to the formula canvas. As I mentioned earlier, an update record function will need a minimum of three parameters. The first one is the logical name of the record to be updated, in this case, incident. The second one is the GUID of the specific record to be updated, the builder has by default entered a value, 
we will delete this as we know the specific record we need to update is stored in the regarding lookup on the email so we go back to the source tab and select it from there the last parameters in an update record are the actual changes you want to make to your record in this case you can see there is a set attribute function set for the description field we will delete the default value again and I could just select description from the source tab. However, many email messages come with HTML formatting applied to them. And I don't want any of that bleeding into the case's description field. So I just take all that out and I search for the strip HTML function. And then hold down the shift key and click on the function name. This will open the formula wizard. I then select the email description field as the input string click generate and save my formula. On this screen, I have a test email created. I use the convert button to convert this into a case and then select my customer. When this case has been created, you can see the description has been copied over. Thank you for watching. And as always, if you have any questions or need any assistance, please contact support at nord52.com or visit support.north52.com